Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to explore the trigonometric equation that describes simple harmonic motion with a phase angle. Going back to the original equation, x is a function of time equals a times the cosine of omega t, a is the amplitude of the motion, omega is defined as the angular frequency, which is defined by k and m, and then t is equal to the time. Notice that in the case where we pull the block out to its maximum displacement away from the equilibrium point in the positive direction, that is defined by this equation right here. Notice that the cosine equation starts at x equals 1, or I should say as the cosine of the angle equals 1, because then this is, this is then replaced, or this is then multiplied times a, so the, this is the x-axis, but the displacement here is positive a, and here would be minus a. So this here is represented by the situation where we'll put the block out to the maximum positive displacement, x equals a, and then we'll let go at t equals zero. That's where the block will be. A half a period later, the block will be on the other side over here, and that will be right here. That will be half period later. A full period later, it's back at its original position. But if, what if we add a phase angle, minus pi divided by two? That's 90 degrees, that's one quarter of a full cycle. What does that do? Well, this really displaces the equation to the right by pi over 2, which would be one quarter of a period in time. That means this function will now look like this. And what does that mean to the original situation? Notice that at t equals 0, the block will now be at the origin, in this case at the equilibrium point, and as time goes by, it will then move to the positive x direction until it finally reaches maximum displacement in the in the positive direction. In other words, this equation right here is represented by the block being right here at the equilibrium point with the spring pushing the block and notice at that point, well at this very moment the spring is not doing anything at all because it's at the equilibrium point, so at that moment the spring is not pushing the block but the block will be moving to the right at maximum velocity, v max. So that would be the initial condition represented by this equation. Now what would it be if we had the phase angle as being plus pi over 2? That would move the equation to the left by one quarter of a cycle, which means that it looks like this. Let me do this right here like that. Now you see that at time equals zero, the block is also at the equilibrium point, but as time then moves on, it's actually moving in the opposite direction, which means this particular equation represents the block being in the exact same spot as the equilibrium point, at the equilibrium point, at time equals zero, but instead of moving to the right, it looks like the block is in the process of moving to the left, and that would be v max, but in the negative position, so that would be negative v max if you want to call it that, and then the spring would be, at that moment, also not be pushing or pulling against the block. At the equilibrium point, there's no net force acting on the block. All the energy is kinetic energy. This is the case where the block is moving to the right. This is the case where the block is moving to the left. And in all three cases, time equals zero, but you can see that it's a very different initial condition, which is defined by the phase angle. There's no fa phase angle here, but there's a negative pi over 2 phase angle there and a positive pi over 2 phase angle there. One more thing noteworthy to mention, this equation right here could actually be rewritten in the fol following format. We can write x as a function of time is equal to the amplitude times the sine of omega t without a phase angle. This and this is exactly the same equation. Here you can see that when time equals zero, the sine of zero is zero, so therefore it's at the equilibrium point. But with a sine function, also notice that the sine function looks like this, which means that as time goes on, immediately the block will begin to move to the positive x direction, which means that this is also the right picture depicted by this particular equation and those particular initial conditions. So the phase angle can be used to determine what the initial condition is of the situation. Other than that, the phase angle has no other purpose. We can simply put in a phase angle, or we can simply define the initial condition as such, where we take the block, pull it to its far right position, and then let go. The reason why the phase angle is sometimes important is because in your problem, as they might depict it, they may say something like, 
the, when time is equal to zero, the block is at the, initial, is at the equilibrium point, moving to the right at 5 meters per second. If that's the case, you want to use this equation to define the position, the velocity, and the acceleration at any point in time. Because if you do that, if you use this equation instead, you will get the wrong answers. We'll show you some examples later of how to implement that. But that's what we mean by having an equation with a phase angle to define the initial condition of the simple harmonic motion.